Having overcome her fear of snakes, Jo Ashton bravely volunteered for round two. And if she only knew... As you let it pay out, I want you to take another deep breath. There's a red mist all around your feet, making your feet very warm and relaxed. As Martin launched Joe's left hand into space, neurotherapist Greg de Montfort monitored her brainwave activity on an electroencephalograph for a full quantitative study in case something left a nasty taste in Joe's mouth. On the count of three, you'll open your eyes, look straight ahead of you, and I'm going to give you some ice cream to cool you down. You're imagining you're very hot now. Open your eyes and look at the ice cream. Under hypnosis, Martin will now try to convince Joe's brain that wasabi, a Japanese horseradish that's hotter than the hottest of chilies, is really cold ice cream. Mint flavoured ice cream. Swallow it. Yes, to swallow it. Mint flavoured ice cream. Did you enjoy that? Is that good? Would you like some more of that? Some more mint flavoured ice cream? Here we are. Mint flavoured ice cream. Enjoy that? Mm -hmm. On the count of three, you'll open your eyes and you'll get the real taste of that ice cream. One, two, three. Open your eyes. Oh, oh, oh. What's the matter? Oh, oh. I'm my head. <laughs> it's all right. It's only wasabi. Oh, yeah. I hate wasabi. <laughs> it just tasted as he was telling me it tasted. The quantitative study backed it up. The results were there and quite dramatic. What does this prove that hypnosis can do? Well, basically, hypnosis can be used for many things, but um, pain relief. I mean, obviously, the sensation of burning in the mouth, Joe couldn't feel it. Good. And from extreme okay. heat to the well, deepest okay. of deep freezes. Sleep, 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 deep asleep. Joe Ashton was about to be placed in cold storage at a temperature of minus 22 degrees with two members of the studio audience, Dean Bourne and Ben Collins. With no concept of what the latest challenge involved, it was on with the Arctic clothing and into the fridge. Are you cold? Freezing. Yeah. You're freezing? Yeah. Sit back and relax and go to sleep. Deep asleep, sleep. Yes, you're watching this movie all about the desert. Oh, and it's really hot. Fan yourself now, fan yourself. With his infrared thermal imaging camera, John Robinson began measuring the heat radiated by the three bodies. Ooh, maybe you should loosen those clothes a bit more because it is getting hotter and hotter. Ooh, the perspiration is just pouring off you. It's so hot. It's getting uncomfortably hot. Oh, now, on the count of three, I want you to feel the real temperature. One, two, three... Open your eyes, wide awake, now wide awake, wakey wakey, rise and shine, wide awake, wide awake. Hmm? It's cold. It's cold. You cold? Yeah, I'm cold. Yes, of course you are. Let's get out of here, it's too cold. The instant he snapped his fingers and brought you back to reality. He was freezing. Freezing. <laughs> It was freezing. You looked as though you'd broken out in a sweat. I had, yeah. The head was sweating a lot, yeah. And then that moment he went back into minus 22. That was painful. And probably within a minute or so, the, the actual temperatures of their skin went up. By how much? By three to four degrees. Now that's quite substantial because the longer they were in there, the lower the temperatures should have been. But their temperatures actually came up. Heart's thumping a bit faster. So. Okay. Ever done anything like this before? No. Do you make a habit of launching yourself off tall buildings? <laughs> Not usually. For the final challenge, we flew to New Zealand and the highest building in the southern hemisphere, Auckland Sky Tower, 192 metres high, 630 feet. With Martin's help, Ben and Joe were expected to throw themselves off. I'm speechless and I've never lost words. Do you think Martin might be able to help or is this something that's bigger um, than both of you? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I'm freaking out. 
At 100, Joe's heart rate was 30 to 40 beats faster than its normal resting rate. My heart's racing. Ben's pumping heart hit a high of 130. With two pulses racing, Martin St. James had a job on his hands. No, You'll be so relaxed, no. you won't even care. No, no, no. no? I'm really sorry, but just walking out on that platform. What if I come out with you? No. Go down there with you. <laughs> Martin wasn't going to force Joe to complete the sky jump under hypnosis. So as she withdrew, Ben reckoned with Martin's help he could conquer his fear. Why don't you just sit back and relax? Feeling really great. Muscles in your arms, right down your legs. He knows he's going to be able to do it because we're all going to be behind you. Ben was so relaxed, his heart rate was down 50 beats. A bit more pumped? Yeah? Motivated? Yes. Yeah? You might be ready to rock and yeah. fly. Let's do it. Right out there, we got Ben coming at you in three, two, one, go! To listen to him instead of my fears. So right now, you feel almost anything's possible absolutely nothing's impossible yeah the, the mind is more powerful than i thought it was it's all in the mind